Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wayslam reviewer, and I'm here to review You Are Not My Mother, and this is a new Irish horror film from writer-director Kate Dolan, and focuses on a young woman, Cher, whose mother disappears after she's been dealing with a lot of illness, and, you know, is trying to drive her to school, and completely spaces out, almost causing this horrible accident, and then all of a sudden, she's nowhere to be seen. And then she reappears, except something's off about her. And is this particularly something that Cher should be worrying about? Is this her mother? And what goes from here is a very chilling and haunting film about this mystery of what happened to Cher's mother and what this entity is now that is taking the shape of her. And this film is chilling to the bone from start to finish. There's just an atmosphere about this film where you're on edge the whole entire time. And you're not quite sure when you're going to have like a quick cut from a different angle that's going to reveal something that's really uncomfortable and shocking. And you have all these different kinds of things. There's so many great moments of this entity that looks like Cher's mother reacting in crazy unhinged kinds of ways that just build up tension and create some horrifying moments in this film. There's one particular cut and reveals something in a mirror and you're just freaked out and how well Dolan's able to build this film up with this tone and this atmosphere and the pacing, which is deliberate but unnerving in a really artful and impressive way. You have shocking scares throughout and a lot of deep themes of dealing with illness and grief because it's obvious that Cher's mom is very sick at the beginning of this film and where things go from there. You also deal with bullying because Cher's getting bullied at school constantly and there's some really uncomfortable and very challenging moments of seeing how young people can interact with each other and how they could bully each other and there's deep-seated connections to relationships between mothers and daughters in this film whether it's Cher, Cher and her mom or Cher's mom and Cher's grandmother and that's really the core of this film, trying to rekindle them. And this film deals with a lot of great, like, folk, Irish folk horror kind of elements in terms of, like, what kind of creature this is, some kind of changeling or something like that. And how this film pulls back the layers to reveal what's really going on without trying to beat you over the head with it is extremely effective and poignant. This is sharp and eerie filmmaking, each frame, the texture of the shots, everything about this film is dark, gloomy, unnerving, and just impactful in the way that it needs to be. And a lot of emotional weight as well, there's definitely a weight about this film, and you can feel how Cher is struggling with her bullies and how she's struggling with her mother's illness and now struggling with is this her mother and trying to process that kind of trauma and really Hazel Dope and Carolyn Bracken who play Cher and her mother are the real anchors to this film that are so impactful and they give such moving and empathetic performances that allow the audience to connect with them or to fear them in the case of Bracken in many ways but in the end, this is a chilling and haunting film with deep emotional resonance. And this was one of the best horror films that I've seen in a while. And right off the bat, like, this is in my top 10 of the year so far out of, like, 180. So that's pretty sad. That's saying quite a bit. This really grabbed me and really inspired my movie-watching experience with this because this felt like something special. But those are my thoughts on You're Not My Mother. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.